Greetings from Nairobi, Kenya and around the world. My name is Maureen Mombi and welcome to the second episode of the Global Perspective Show where we give you an insight of the issues affecting the public's interest in the business, technology and art sector. But first, a look at the global stories. Kim Kardashian West visited the White House on May 30th. Sources say that her visit was based on asking for a pardon for a 63-year-old Marie Johnson, who is serving a life sentence in the Alabama prison. Well, this, she is quite hopeful after meeting President Donald Trump and other officials such as senior advisor prison reform on this matter. As many as 270 women in England may have died prematurely of breast cancer because of an eat failure that led to 450,000 patients missing out on routine screening. While breast cancer charities say the screening program now offers women a best chance for early detection. Church known as Grace Cathedral in San Francisco, California, recently held a church service using Beyonce as a central theme. Yolanda Norton, a guest reverend who led this sermon, considers the church as a liberal place where people should not shy away from speaking the truth, especially when it comes to women empowerment. But is this a way of drawing masses to the church? Among the three global stories, I'm going to talk about one major global story of interest on Beyonce's mass church service. This mass service has raised concerns globally since it highlighted Beyonce's music and how it relates to spiritual experience of black women as well as issues they face in society. So does this mean that secularism should be allowed in our churches today as a way of drawing masses and should Kenyans adopt to such means? I invite you once again to tell us your thoughts on this issue, on whether you think secularism should be an option in our churches today. On our social media pages, remember to use the hashtag at Global Perspective News, or you can even send us an SMS to the number projected on your screen. Looking at social media, at Jerry Shields says, I think it's a very proactive move from the church. I like the fact that they were able to fuse Beyonce with the word of God, since I am an avid Christian and a big Beyonce fan. But before we go to our comments, Wangoi Kinyo, one of our correspondents, is on ground and will give us an in-depth look on this issue. Wangoi. For those in the bondage of racism, we need... The Beyonce mass service has certainly created a buzz globally. Churches are no longer considered as a sacred place for prayer as it used to be in the past. Now, most people are not aware that secularism is slowly becoming part of our religion. The religious leaders are using secular artists as a means to attract the young generation in the society and also gain popularity, just as it was witnessed in the San Francisco church. On the issue concerning um, secularism, it's a good thing that um, there are some of Beyonce's songs that represent um, faithfulness and monogamy in a relationship. But then again, not all her songs represent Christianity. In fact, is does she represent Christ as a human being? I have nothing against her as an artist, but at the end of the day, do you represent the same messages that are implemented by the church? Because that is what matters. So what we do in the worship services, we make that about a conversation that we would have with God. So in my opinion, uh, should the artists come to our churches? Yes. Can they bring their following? Yes. I believe as Christians, we judge a lot. We judge uh, how people do things, how they run their life, which is very wrong. And therefore, secular artists coming to church is fine. And should they produce uh, music that's Christian? Yes, of course. We want as much following as possible because that's what God sent us to do. 
Dr. Wangoi, in your own opinion, do you think that secularism should actually be an option in our churches today? Or should religious leaders take action on this matter? Mombi, I think this is actually a very gray area, but I think that people should practice what they believe is right and that faith is very, very personal. I'm Wangoi Kinyo, reporting for Global Perspective News. Well, thank you, Wangoi, for that report. Looking at social media once again, at Georges Mulay says, I think secular music reaches more diversity as compared to other genres of music. Well, that's quite an interesting topic, especially due to the fact that people are attracted more on popularity than the message. Joining me is Dr. Mutinda Musimi, who is a pastor at City Church. So what is your thought on this issue? Should secular artists be allowed to perform in our churches today? I would say it was creative, but I wouldn't accept it for a church. That's, that's my position. I think I understand where the church is coming from, especially because they are talking, they were talking about the troubles that black women go through. But I think that was an extreme. That would be my comment. It was, it was an extreme. I wouldn't, I, I wouldn't mind doing it, but I wouldn't do it in church. Right. And once more, I would say it's good for, for us to talk about human rights and the justice. But what Grace Cathedral did was not right, especially for them to be singing, looking at the lifestyle of Beyonce, and sometimes the kind of music that she sings and her performance, I don't think it was right to do it in church. However, I have a soft part here that not every song that is sung by such people is wrong because the lyrics, if they're talking about justice, if they're talking about the rights of the blacks, they have nothing wrong with them. And I'll reiterate, it can be done. But the forum was not right. I, I wouldn't do that in church. Now, thank you for that. Uh, I'm being joined by also uh, Eric Mbithi, who is a secular artist, and uh, he's also part of our panel today. A secular artist, uh, do you think the mass service was really necessary? And can you consider actually performing your music in church? The mass wasn't really uh, done because of Beyonce. I think it was done to to look at the essence of the female um, in response and relevance to the Bible. Because many times we look at the Bible and they haven't really um, involved um, the woman as much as, as much as the man. You know, the man is like, man is all over the Bible, but woman is not really mentioned a lot of times and is not really involved, you know. So I feel like it was, to put out, to put out, and to look at uh, the woman's relevance in the Bible and in religion as well, you know. And using Beyonce, since she's a person of um, color, I think they they, they try to use her um, her as a woman and her as a woman of color, and also it was still looking at generally women from uh, the marginalized groups and also the w women of color because um, they are the most that in the society you think they are the people who struggle the most you know people of color and um, marginalized people but yes yes depending on the content you know depending on what you are preaching because um, nowadays I think we shouldn't really dwell on what's godly and what's not. I think as, a, uh, as, uh, as religion, you know, as uh, churches, I think they should really focus on what is, um, what is right, you know, what is the, the, virtues of, uh, the virtues of living, the good virtues, the good morals of how man should live on, in earth and uh, generally in the society. Okay. 
Dr. Mutinda Musimi, you're saying that what happened in San Francisco is wrong, especially since it was done in church. And Bithi, you're saying that it wasn't wrong. So what makes you come to such a conclusion? Let me start with you, Dr. Mutinda Musimi. And raise this in church. As far as I am concerned, the Bible, we must separate these matters. Christians must fight for the rights of those that are marginalized, yes. And even preach about it from the pulpit, yes. But there are other ways of doing this without necessarily having to use the lyrics of a secular artist to bring out the point. And when it is called a Beyonce mass, Obviously, many questions will be raised, and I think these people are just looking for pop popularity. They wanted to bring as many people as possible to church by using the name of Beyonce, which I think, you know, I strongly rather should say strongly is not right. Okay, go ahead, Mbithi. The kind of content that I write on my music should relate, you know, should really relate on, on, um, should re, should cut through all all uh, religi or religious um, circles and um, the society generally. Because, for example, if I'm to do something that can go to the church, it should be more of empowering the human being, either a woman or a man or a young person. Yeah. So basically, I think yeah, I can I can if I create content that is church friendly. I don't, I don't really have an issue with it, as long as it reaches and touches uh, the masses in a positive way. I am joined by Rebecca Nganga, Mrs. Rebecca Nganga, who is a Christianity and media expert. So Rebecca, uh, what, um, what is your take on Christians confusing secularism and worship in the church? If it's not from the heart that really worships him, I don't think uh, the issues of our own relationships uh, 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 should be brought in to confuse the matter. Yeah, and uh, I think to me it is the leadership of that church that need to question their own beliefs and values and why they exist. Yeah, however, having said that, um, we are in the world but not of the world. So we must see how do we have, like you see, what is Christian music? Uh, I have difficulties in defining that, in that, um, what is it? I mean, I thought anything that human beings do, like the Bible says, whatever you do, uh, let it be, uh, you know, must have God in mind, yeah. So if you sing about harvest, if you sing about relationships of human beings with one another in a way that dignifies them, in the name God may not be mentioned, but the thing is dignifying to human beings, and I think that to me is godly. Well, more comments are still coming in. At Wangare says, I do agree with Dr. Mutinda Musimi. Secularism should be separated from the church setting completely. Secularism is a very debatable issue that we cannot avoid talking about. In my own opinion, however, I do not support what happened in San Francisco because the church is a sacred place that should be respected for what it is. Church leaders and also the congregation should take action on these particular issues. But at the same time, it all depends with the kind of content that these artists are trying to put across, as Mbithi mentioned. If it is content that does not portray any form of blasphemy, then it should be allowed. Well, thank you once again for watching our final episode. It was a pleasure having you on our show. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe to our GP. <laughs>